G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. Just thought I'd share, share this with you. I was just out here watering my uh, subtropical and tropical plants here. And I have this beautiful fragrance that fills my backyard. And it's, it's this one right here. This is the elephant ear. I'm training it to grow like a tree. You can see how I chop, how I chop the um, anything that grows out the sides. So any of these little ones that start growing out here, I cut them off. I just use a knife and just cut them off. It's really easy. They're really soft, and you can be brutal. It just it doesn't really matter what you do to it. it it's going to grow. But the fragrance that comes off this plant, off this flower is probably one of my favorite fragrances it is awesome and it just you can see here i'll show you the flower there's the flower here right and that that there is what's sending off that fragrance you smell it oh my god it's just so strong and there's another one opening here there's a there's some that have probably died off but there's going to be two here and they'll just keep on producing these flowers every few days up to a week but i've deliberately put this next to our bedroom window and um we get the awesome fragrance going in through the house and into our bedroom it fills the house but i'm literally well what one two three four five six i'm about six meters away and i can clearly smell it now so there you go the elephant ear i don't know what the scientific name is but these are so easy to propagate i could probably i could probably take any of these that are going to sit here would probably take even this It'll start developing its roots and then, and just take off. In fact, I have them, I have them um, popping up around the garden everywhere. You've only got to leave a little bit somewhere and, and they pop up, see? There's one there coming up on its own. There's another one at the back there behind the compost bin. Now they, they, they can be quite, I wouldn't say invasive, but they just multiply. But if you just, sorry, the guy's doing whipper stepper next door. But if you just um, cut the base every, I don't know, every couple of weeks, three weeks, you can train it into a tree. This will look spectacular when these leaves get big and overhang the gate. But yeah, I'm glad I put that there. I'd highly recommend if you're into, the, into a really beautiful fragrance, Highly recommend one. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video, bye.